What's up, the Dio fam? It's so good to be back in the house today. I'm excited with this new video about the intro to Classical Gas by Mason Williams. Now, this version is based off of a couple versions. It's based off of Mason Williams' version and Tommy Emmanuel's version. Both of these versions are linked up in the description below if you want to check them both out. But the version we'll be learning is a mixture of the two, and there's only one video out there like it, so I'll link that up in the description below. It's a video of me playing it. I created a, a kind of interesting medley of different songs that I think you will appreciate if you've hung around here for a little while. Stairway to Heaven, to Roundabout by Yes, into Classical Gas, Classical Gas for like two and a half to three and a half minutes, and then end with Stairway again. It's kind of fun. Like I said in the intro, we're gonna be learning the intro to this song. There are gonna be more parts to this video, so make sure you subscribe and ding the bell to get notified whenever I put out these new videos that are, that'll be coming out here very shortly that I think you will enjoy. I don't know how many parts this is actually gonna be, maybe around five or six. This is a long song, guys, so maybe five or six videos about this. Now, you might notice I go through this intro kind of fast with you in this video. Something vitally important, you can slow this video down. Along with while you're watching me play the other song and you wanna practice along with me, you can slow me down to actually be able to play it because that's important. We'll talk about why that's important later in this video at the end whenever I talk to you about lots of practice tips because this song took me six months to learn. Disclaimer, it's hard, okay? There's gonna be a ton of, I'm never gonna learn it, I'm never gonna make it. Why did I even start? This song is so much fun to play. Ah. There's gonna be a lot of emotional ups and downs, if you know what I mean. Because it's, it's a hard song, okay? Now, if you're a beginner and you don't know a lot of basic chords yet, um, I, re I really recommend learning that first. There's a playlist linked up right here. It talks about a lot of beginner chords that need to be learned, including the A minor, G chord, the C chord, the F chord, a lot of the chords we need to know for this that if you don't know yet, might make it just a little bit harder for you to learn it. So I really recommend learning those first and checking out some other videos on the channel on how to practice, that kind of stuff, just to get you prepped for this crazy hard song. But let's go ahead and jump into the how-to section of this video. Okay, so we're starting off with our basis on the A minor chord. Again, if you don't know the A minor chord, playlist linked up there, so you can check that out. So one of the hardest parts of this song is the finger picking. Now don't give up on the finger picking. Before I learned this, I wasn't really a finger picker, if you know what I mean. I had started, but I wasn't the greatest at it yet. Now I'm, st I'm still working on it. Everybody can keep working on what they're learning, but this song has really improved my finger taking finger taking my finger picking technique and I think it will yours too so don't give up don't get discouraged keep working towards it because it's it's definitely worth it now with this song at first it will be so hard but take it slow don't speed up too fast practice it slowly because this finger picking is a little difficult but I'll talk about where you put your fingers and then I'll mention what fingers you play what with okay so that's kind of how we'll frame this video the first note, or two notes that will hit a chord, I guess, is the A string and the B string. Again, we're in the A minor chords, so your first finger's already on the first fret. We're gonna take our first finger and pluck the G string, not too hard. And then hit the B string with our second finger again. Just like that. First little bit. Next, we kind of have a G chord here. Our third finger on the low E string, the third fret of the low E string. Hit that with your thumb. First finger on the G and then second finger on the B. That's how you play that. And then hit the second fret of the low E string with the second finger with the thumb and then hit the low E string and the B string together. We're gonna take our second finger, put it on the second fret of the G string and pull off, and then come back to the A minor chord. You can hammer on with your first finger if you want to. So here's what we have so far. Feel free to play along with me or slow it down if you need to slow it down. Now what's cool about this intro is you can take it at whatever pace you want, unless of course you're playing with other people, but the way Mason Williams plays it, he's the only person playing in this spot, and he takes his time. A 
similar to what I did in the intro, I kind of just took my time with it, did whatever I really wanted to, just flowed with it, until it kicks in on the first, I don't know, verse maybe is what you could call it, then it kicks into a steady tempo, and of course changes time signatures and all that fun jazzy stuff. But right here, you can flow it however you want to, um, but again, you can watch my video to see how I did it. Maybe you'd like to do it the same way, I don't know. You can change up the tempo however you want. It's, this is like a freestyle moment, you know? Next, we're going to take our thumb and hit the low A string and then use our first finger to pick the second fret of the G string while we're still playing an A minor chord. So really, our third finger is on the second fret of the G string here. Now, we've got to do that quick because we're coming up to an A minor pentatonic area. Like that, okay? That's what we'll be playing, so... Gotta hit it real fast. And let that A string keep rolling out, keep, keep vibrating, you know? So the way that is played, come up here with your first finger to the fifth fret of the A string, excuse me, the E string, third finger to the seventh fret of the E string, then pinky up to the eighth finger of the high E string. And then you're gonna do a like a pull off down, and then put your first, uh, your fourth finger on the eighth fret of the B string. Just like that. And then real quick, we're coming back down to this G shape, playing it the same way we did before. Hitting that second fret of the low E string, and then hitting the G and the B this time. Hitting that E again, but this time we're going to do a little fun thing. So the way you do that, you hit with your second finger on the second fret of the G string, pull, pull off and then hammer back on, hit the B string, the open B string. And then do that A chord again, hammering on with your first finger. Next, we're doing a walk up type thing, doing that G shape again. But instead of going down, we're coming up to the A minor chord, hitting the A string, then the G string, and the B string with these two fingers. This is a new shape the second finger on the second fret of the A string, and then the pinky on the third fret of the B string. coming to a C chord. We're going to hit the A string and the high E string. Then with our thumb, we're going to hit the G string open, but then our pinky comes up here to the third fret of the B string. Next we come down to almost another A minor chord with our second finger on the second fret of the G string and our first finger on the first fret of the B string. Third finger on the third fret of the B string, of the B string. Second finger goes over here on the second fret of the D string. First finger comes from the first fret of the B string and hammers off. Alright, now real quick, I'm going to play through it fairly slowly, and remember you can still slow me down if you'd like to, but feel free to play along with me. And then you can feel free to do some harmonics here. I don't know, you can do whatever you want there. Do whatever you like right here. 
we just have some fun. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Now we're not done yet, so don't leave. There are important practice tips that I wanna share with you. So I was practicing this song for maybe around six months. The, after the first month, I got the main gist down, and then on the second month, I was like, I'm gonna practice this as fast as I can. So I started practicing it real fast. What's going on with my country accent today? I, I don't know what. This, this is not normal, guys. It's not normal. But around the second month, I started practicing it really fast. And it was not working out, okay? It was not working out. I would get parts that I was really good at, you know? The, like the first, the verse part, or whatever, that part is actually called da 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 I got really good at that so I could do that really fast. And then I kind of just muffled through the parts I wasn't very good at and it didn't help at all. Okay, so practice it very, very slow. Now watch the video over and over and over again too. Get that melody, get that rhythm ingrained into your head. Keep listening to it over and over and over again. Even days whenever you're not able to practice, keep listening to it. I still practice it every single day, at least twice a day. I mean all the way through, or the parts that you already know all the way through. Go through it as much as possible, um, but make sure you practice this often, every day. Listen to it often, every single day. It's a good wake up song. Different versions, again, are in the description below if you wanna check out some different stuff. So listen to how different people play it and really tell from them how they play it. Now, you might need to watch this video a couple of times to make sure you get all the notes down, and that's totally okay. Feel free to do that. Feel free to slow the video down, vitally important. Go into settings, click playback speed, doo -doo -doo. Click slow the video down, or you can even speed me up if I was talking way too slow for you, which, hey, I get you, I understand. But I think those are the main tips I can give you for practicing this song. Finger picking, very important. Something helpful that helped me, just practice going back and forth between something. This thumb and first finger, even add your second finger in there. Or a song but yeah practice doing that and that'll really help just being aware of these fingers like you know pianists are and stuff but using a pick your entire guitar journey it kind of gets you in the habit of just using a pick and you kind of forget your other fingers are there if you know what I mean that's it's good to practice that too but again thanks for watching subscribe for more videos just like this one and for the other parts in the series because this is not the only part of the song we're gonna be watching and learning some other stuff so make sure you subscribe for that good content there to finish learning the song finish what you started like this video, share it with your friends. If you liked it, comment below if you have any questions, concerns, or video ideas, throw them in the comment section below. I'm excited about Christmas coming up. If you have any music video ideas, put them in the comment section below. What's your favorite Christmas song? Let me know in the comment section below. Or for you, maybe it's past Christmas. Let me know what your favorite song is or band is in the comments below. Let me know what it is down there. But I guess that's it. I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.